All right, what's up guys? Here's our first face. And I would give this face a five out of 10. That's right, a five out of 10. I think this is a very average face. This is a perfect five out of 10 example, especially factoring in the side profile. So we'll look at his pros and cons. He has a hooked nose, as you can see from the side and the front. Doesn't have the best shape. He has a slightly proclined ramus, which simply means it could be more acute. Now this isn't a big flaw, but it is something to consider. It could also be a tad longer. He has poor orbital bones. So you can see that his eyes are protruding out of his skull, both supraorbital and infraorbital. And we can see in the front profile that he has the weak under eye support, the excessive upper eyelid exposure. He has slightly flared ears, and you can also see, see from the front that his ramus could be down a little more. It gives this appearance when the widest part of the jaw is up here. It's not the best appearance. He has some good features too. He has a positive canthal tilt, decent eye shape, decent jaw inclination. I can see visually good lip proportions. He has some decent features. It's, it's generally just a very average face. Like his eye area is pretty average and his jaw is pretty average nose is a bit below average so it's just a very average face for looks maxing i would say personally i'd start out with the rhinoplasty i know it's surgical advice but that's kind of what's effective so i would say i'd start out with the rhinoplasty it's pretty simple and cheap to remove that you can go for upper eyelid fat grafting if you want go for autoplasty to slightly pin back the ears and an easy one that anyone can do is you can tint the brows to just be a little bit more full and consistent. Okay, here's our next face. So this face I put at a 6.75 in the top 2% of looks. So again, pe some people think I underrate faces, but it's important to remember this is a top 2% face. So like he'd be the best looking guy in classrooms, best looking guy. It's an estimation of like 50 people. So pretty good. I think he's a little bit better looking than like Timothy Chalamet on paper in that range. So there are some things worth noting. He has asymmetrical upper eyelids. So you can see this, he has upper eyelid exposure and here he has hooding and it's also a bit negative. So he, you can get blepharoplasty to correct this if you want. He has really good facial angularity, broad chin, full lips, pretty good nose shape. Visually pretty good eye spacing, positive canthal tilt. His brows are his other flaw. They are pretty light and vertically thin, but this is a good face, an attractive face for sure. And from the side profile, his side profile is worse. He has a very deep mental labial fold. You can check that out, but it's visually very deep. Yeah, 81. So yeah, it's pretty, pretty deep mental labial fold. He's a long ramus. His chin is a little bit too projected, slightly, as you can see, which will distort the lip assessment slightly. It's very slight, but it could just be a little bit more. And then the mental labial angle could be improved. So we'll look at that real quick. Actually, it's mostly the mental labial angle that makes it look a little bit weird. But as you can see, it's just a bit deep beforehand. His nose is slightly hooked, very, very slightly, nothing to be concerned about. So yeah, as far as looks at maxing advice for this guy, I'd say darken the brows with a eyebrow darkening and tinting kit. It's like $10 at a local drugstore, and that'd be a pretty big improvement. But to conclude, yeah, this guy is good looking and the blepharoplasty if you wanna uh, have symmetrical eyes because this is this is a good amount of upper eyelid exposure but yeah good looking guy okay so this face is definitely below average and i'd put him in that jeremy allen white range like four 4.25 and the main issues are the near unibrow so you can shave that in between and the good marker or rule for where to trim your eyebrows are these are the dorsal aesthetic lines right here <clears throat> His aren't extremely defined, but these are the dorsal aesthetic lines. So you want to trim the eyebrows about on those lines. So all this stuff can tr be trimmed. 
And this can depend if you have wide or close set eyes. Sometimes you want your eyebrows to be further or closer, but in his case, I would shave them there. He has very thin lips, bulbous nose. The jaw is a bit asymmetrical. The bitemporal width is pretty high, but he has potential for sure. So for looks maxing, I mean, rhinoplasty, specifically alar tip plasty as well in this case. Uh, you could do some conservative lip filler to get the lips bigger. Your canthal tilt could be better. I would trim, trim the eyebrows, of course. Clean up your diet for skin. And those are the core things off the top of my head. Of course, like in my reports, I normally go more in depth, but this is just off the top of my head. Alrighty, our last face. Hmm. See, his side profile is actually better, even though he has a recessed chin. He has good hair and good eye reaching from the side. Nose could be a bit better, but hmm. his front, his front is a little bit below average in this photo, I think. Basically a five though. Overall, I'd put this guy at like a five and I think he very easily can become above average very easily. So I think with good skin and better grooming and losing a little bit of weight, this guy can be above average for sure. But we do have some issues like the recessed chin, the low jawline visibility, the nose is masculine, but it is a bit hooked. But this is good right here. Pretty good under eye support. Could be better always, but it's pretty good. Good super orbital area too. From the front, it does look a bit worse and the nose looks more bulbous. The jaw is fairly average. So yeah, at the moment, I would put this guy at like a five, all things considered. But I think with clearing the skin, I'd shave the mustache, lose more weight. I would consider rhinoplasty in this case and probably a genioplasty as well. And, but even without the surgery, this guy can, I think, reach above average. And also you could consider infraorbital rim implants. So yeah, that, I think that's all for that face. So yeah, guys, that summarizes today's episode. I hope you guys enjoyed. And as always, if you wanna help support the channel and get a face rating or looks maxing advice, you can check out the first link down below to my store. And it really does help support the channel. I think it's a great product. And yeah, I'll see you guys next time.